And what you're going to do is you're going to slowly and gently pull them together. And that creates your joint called your double carrick bend. And it's, it's cool. Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the double carrick bend and a little whipping as you can see here. So let's dive right in. I've got both of my cords here and I've got them bent in half. So from the loop on your first cord, you're going to give it a twist, creating an X with your cords. With your second cord, you're going to lay it over the top of the first cord. Let its strands fall down below the loop of the first cord and cross them below the loop of the first cord, bringing up the lower cord from the crossing and then going back, holding on to holding this firm so it doesn't twist and get out of shape. Going back, you're going to, with the loop that's created here from the second cord, you're going to pull up the lower cord from the crossing. That way you're creating this X with these cords and with these cords, you're creating an X. And what you're going to do is you're going to slowly and gently pull them together. And that creates your joint called your double carrick bend. And it's, it's cool. Looks like a bit of a, a figure eight when you twist it around. And then to secure it, because that is not a terribly secure knot just on its own. I've decided to add a couple of overhand knots just to keep my double carrick bend from coming undone. An overhand knot is just what it says. You're just wrapping your cords around each other and pulling it up and trying to keep them in a balanced distance from your double carrick. So that's it. I'm thinking on making a tutorial on how to use this knot in a belt. Let me know in the comments below. Next, I want to show you how to do some whipping. Um, sometimes we miscall it lashing, but it's actually called whipping. And it's when you finish the ends of a cord, and this is an old sample from my dad's bag, and here he has done the whipping with some little extra decorative stitching on it. But today we're just going to do the basic whipping. So what whipping is used for is to finish the end of a cord or piece of rope to keep it from fraying. And there are many applications for whipping. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to take your cord that you're doing the whipping with over the top of your your piece of rope or heavy cord whatever it, or your even um, a craft work that you're working on so you're going to take your your cord you're going to bend create a, a loop at one end and it's going to need to be longer than the section that you're going to whip because you need this this end to be your, your loose tail that's what you're going to use to pull it tight with later. So you're going to lay it over your cord and usually when you're whipping you're doing it at the end of a cord. I'm doing this in the center cord, center of the cord so you can see what I'm, I'm doing easier. So this is for demonstration purposes. So what you're going to do with the long end of your whipping cord is you're going to cross over the top of your tail wrap around the back and come back over the top of the front and holding your cord on, holding your whipping cord to your base rope with one thumb, you're going to want to keep things as tight as possible. And what you're doing is you're just wrapping around, creating concentric circles around your rope that are going to be smooth and flat. And I'm right-handed, so I usually start whipping with my left hand, and then once I've got a few wraps around, I switch to my right hand for to continue. You can whip with e 
either hand, whichever makes you comfortable. So all you're doing is you're continuing to wrap around in concentric, smooth circles with your cord. Each wrap coming around, laying as close to the previous course as possible. And you go as many times around as you need to get the thickness that you want. I can keep going to make this a longer whip, but I believe this is going to be long enough to actually, for our demonstration, to, so you understand what it is that we're doing. So when you come back around to, to, to the loop with your whipping cord, you're going to bring it up through the loop from behind and get it to nest up against itself from the previous wrap. Hold it firm against your, your base rope and then with your tail, pull the tail to where you're closing the loop around the, the top of your whipping cord. And you'll see how it's created a bit of a bite right there. And your next goal is to keep pulling on your tail to where it pulls that loop with the other cord with the other end of the, the whipping cord locked in place underneath all the wraps. And that's actually all there is to it. From this point, you would just take your scissors and trim off your excess. And there you have your whipping. And if needed, go around and push your cords together to make it tighten up a bit more. And that's all there is to whipping. And like I said, in this example, what my dad did was he left, uh, the tail was excess, he left extra on the tail. So once he pulled the cord through, he would use the tail and thread it onto a needle and do additional decorative stitches around. And I'll probably do that in a future video. Today was just about the basic whip on how to do it. I hope this is helpful. Let me know what other types of knots you would like to see in the comments below. And I would like to invite you to hit the like and even subscribe as I am posting new tutorials every week. Thanks for watching. Happy crafting.